Orient and Justin Gaethje. All right, here's the lightweight contender, former University of Northern Colorado wrestler, Justin Gaethje. We've spent a lot of time with this young man. We both think he is one of, if not the most exciting fighter in the sport today. But he doesn't lean on those wrestling chops. He's worried about wrestling fatigue, and the results certainly speak to him having the right approach, though. As you said, John, University of Northern Colorado wrestler, All-American. Right. He was an All-American, but to this point, he has not scored one takedown. He doesn't need to. He wants to go in there, and he wants to fight. He said he shows up to put on it, a highlight. His nickname's the highlight, and he has earned that and is justified every time he steps foot in the octagon. Just a fantastic mixed martial artist with a full toolbox of skill at his disposal. And when he has faced adversity, he has come back stronger than ever. Ask his recent victims, James Vick, and the aforementioned Edson Barboza. So you got Ron Guidry, Louisiana Lightning. You got <laughs> Daniel Cormier, the two-division UFC champion. But now Dustin Poirier, on the strength of a UFC interim lightweight title, has a key to the city of Lafayette. And he will try to add to his significant legacy in this spot here tonight. The king of Lafayette, Dustin Poirier, he loves that city, and he embodies everything that the city stands for. Yeah. He's tough. He's durable. He's a guy that is looking for a fight. And in the fight with Max Holloway to win the title, you saw that he's willing to go through anything to accomplish his goals. A truly special athlete is Dustin Poirier. And it's amazing to think where he was after the knockout loss to Michael Johnson in a main event in Hidalgo, Texas in 2016. Refocused, rededicated himself, and was able to produce a UFC title. All eyes on Dustin Poirier as he gets back on the famed canvas here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <coughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now we producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 105 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting that as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he's oh. supposed to be. Oh, he's hurt bad. 
He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Straight right hand counter. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Poirier's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Single collar tie there. Poirier's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Justin Gaethje. Slips the punch nicely there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, to the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155, I can't believe he used to fight at featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict with one strike. Lands flush with that right hand. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't wanna eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice leg kick. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. 30 seconds to go in the round. Beautiful body kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, nice punch there by Poirier. Punch is blocked. Got the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Here we go, round two. Dustin the Diamond Pori. You ready? Versus Justin the Highlight Gage. Nice punch there by Dustin Pori. Oh! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He 
engages in the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Right hand on point. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Gaethje's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. All right, we call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 51 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. And connecting with just a 36% accuracy there against Justin Gaethje. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Unable to connect with the right. All right, single collar tie now. Poirier's knee is blocked. And they separate. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Big power shot there. Big clinch. Watch him shift and try to start getting his punches off. Under two minutes to go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice strike. Stuffs the takedown, no problems. And they separate. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, start, he'll change his stance. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Whoa! Whoa! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stick on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. In the clinch, big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Oh! Oh, straight right! So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish.
You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Punch coming. It's blocked. Good. All right. Poirier gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch event. Oh! He's a oh! He's hurt back. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Oh, and there it is. One of the best back takers in the sport took his back there. Now we'll see what he can do. Now he's in imminent danger. Now he is in trouble. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, more often than not, when he has struck, he has landed 86 total strikes, have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Well, not the greatest land percentage necessarily, 37% the accuracy thus far against Justin Gaethje. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Gaethje's got the tie clinch now. Oh, he's hurt. Wow! Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> that one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Chase that finish down now. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Starting to do some really significant damage to the bone. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Justin the Highlight Gage. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.